This is Vaughn Stewart with NetApp. I'd like to share with you how Cisco, NetApp, and VMware are making long-distance vMotion a reality. As you know, vMotion enables the non-disruptive migration of virtual machines and their applications between hosts in a vSphere cluster. This provides workload mobility and load balancing while enabling data center maintenance without the disruption of applications. With all its capabilities, vMotion was not designed to address the migration of virtual machines between two separate data centers. This is where the engineering efforts of Cisco, NetApp, and VMware have come together to break down these barriers. To enable data center expansion, as well as data center migration and consolidation, and to provide for a new class of business continuance which we refer to as disaster avoidance. vMotion was designed for the migration of virtual machines on the same network subnet. When considering the migration of a virtual machine between two separate data centers, one needs to be aware of two challenges. The first is that each data center will have a different network and different network address scheme. This is a perfect challenge which is addressed by Cisco's DCI technologies. These technologies allow customers to have a single data center network which spans both campuses and allows vMotion to function non-disruptively. The second challenge facing such a migration is distance. Longer distances result in increased I.O. latency, and I.O. latency becomes a prohibiting factor in trying to run compute resources in Data Center A with storage resources located in Data Center B. This is where storage technologies from NetApp can address such challenges. Consider our example. We've got Data Center A and B. Both data centers have NetApp storage controllers as well as vSphere clusters. All I.O. activities are contained between the clusters and their storage objects within each data center. By enabling NetApp's FlexCache technology, Data Center A can have immediate access to the data in Data Center B and thus provide this access to the ESX cluster. With this technology, we can treat remote data sets as if they were local, with high performance, low latency read-write access. In short, this is how we collectively enable the long-distance migration of virtual machines. Cisco ensures that as virtual machines move from Site A to Site B, their client connections remain intact. VMware ensures that the compute resources are moved without disruption, and NetApp ensures that the data is made immediately available. There are more details to this solution provided online in our joint reference architecture. You can find this guide online at any one of our websites. And again, this reference architecture does support a distance of up to 400 kilometers. Included in our documentation is some metrics. The first is the time required to migrate a virtual machine. You'll notice a correlation between an increase of distance and an increase of time. But even at 400 kilometers, we can complete the migration of a virtual machine in less than two and a half minutes. Again, the machine remains up and running during the entire process. We've also included the performance results of running Dell's DVD store benchmark on a Microsoft SQL Server. What you will notice is that while our distances expand, our performance stays almost linear. At 400 kilometers, our performance is degraded less than 3%. As you can see, the engineers at Cisco, NetApp, and VMware have extended the capabilities of vMotion by enabling the migration of virtual machines across data centers with immediate access and almost zero performance impact. This enables nonstop IT operations. This is Vaughn Stewart with NetApp, and I'd like to remind you to imagine virtually anything with Cisco, NetApp, and VMware.